Hello everyone, it's Karen here from Karen's Creation Scrapple King. Today I'm going to show you how to create this oval or circle um, on this um, bear card that um, I have made. I'll do another um, tutorial on how I put the card together. But these are the stamps I use from Hero Arts. So what you need to do is open your iPad and um, click the Cricut Design Studio and you want to click a new project and we're going to need um, a square so we have to click shapes need a square and a circle and your square is going to be um, five inches so you just click edit and five inches and your circle you want it to be four inches so you always have to click um, the object before you change the sizing okay so we're just gonna make this a different color the square um, we're gonna push cut and I'm just gonna make it that color there for now so we can see it okay so what we're gonna do is we're going to get a couple of different shapes we're going to get um, a fence and some leaves so you go to image and you can type in fence, F fence, and all these different fences come up. So the one I picked was this one. So um, it's a little big, but that's okay. So what I'm going to do is um, duplicate that one. Um, I don't like this middle fence part here so I'm just going to cut it smaller and I'm just going to rotate it I'm going to cut it off about there so what you're going to have to do is take your finger um, put the square where you want it over top of the fence take your finger and um, go over top of both objects and you hit under actions you hit slice and then you delete the parts you don't want and now I'm just going to do it again because I want it cut on both sides and I'm going to slice it again I'm just going to get rid of that and that okay so that's a um, just a nice fence and I'm just going to make it a color so I can see it okay and I'm going to make it smaller But I want it to go all the way across the circle because it's going to be cut out of that bottom part of the circle. So I am going to just duplicate it. Duplicate under actions and I'm just going to weld that together. So I'm going to highlight it again over top of both. I'm going to weld that together. Oh, I didn't want that to happen. So I'll pull it apart a little bit. Weld. Okay, so now I'm going to have a fence like that. And then now I can slide uh, my finger over both of them again and I'll hit slice and the fence will come out of that circle. Isn't that neat? Okay, so now we need some leaves at the top. So we're going to push image again and we're going to type in leaf branch. And we can pick anything here. How about we pick that one? So um, I have access, so I pay for my subscription. So anything that has a, a green A on it um, tells you that you have it for free. Um, if you click on that 
I in the bottom right corner, it tells you what cartridge it's from. So this one is from Cindy Lou. So I'm just going to insert it. So if you had the Cindy Lou cartridge, um, then it wouldn't cost you anything. So I'm just going to weld that. Um, so to get rid of the pink, because that's a different layer. Okay, it's a little bit different from the one I did. I can't really remember um, what leaf I chose, but that's okay. So I'm just going to duplicate that. Make a couple different branches coming down. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll flip that one. So if you go to edit, you can flip it. So the leaves are going the other way. Bring that one up a little more. Okay, and now this here you have to slice it three separate times. To get rid of those spots. Slice. And slice. Okay, so there's your leaves coming down. So now what we're going to do is set it inside the square. And this is five inches, that's four inches, so we have a half an inch um, all the way around. So we need to measure that, so 0.5. And I'm just going to put these squares around the top and the bottom so that I can measure it, even it out here. Just check to make sure. Okay, so we're going to get rid of those squares now. And now I'm just going to go over that box and I'm going to slice it. And there you go. That's your, your white piece on this card. Okay, so now what you can do is just delete these things and push cut. And that's what your mat will look like. It'll cut it out of your white cardstock. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it's pretty quick and easy. You, anybody can do it. Um, come see my website kc-scrapbooking.com. I have um, these cards already made up um, and ready to ship. Um, all you have to do is um, ink them and put them together. Take care and have a good day.